today we are going to discuss the importance of typing we will discuss two different charting techniques and the typing techniques that follow each charting technique the first typing technique is called short note taking the second technique involves expanding and fixing the shorthand notes during a patient provider interaction the patient and provider would talk about different complaints the patient has and the provider's physical exam and assessment and plan Many times it is difficult to write notes in complete sentences. If a scribe starts to type in full sentences, there are chances of missing a lot of information. To avoid missing information, scribes generally type shorthand notes and expand and fix them later. For example, the patient is seen for hypertension, hyperlipidemia and diabetes. The patient would be telling the provider what medications he or she is on. and if they have any positive symptoms the provider would ask if the patient has certain symptoms like cp sob or palpitations to type such information in full sentences might not always be possible hence the scribe would type shorthand notes for example the scribe might type out the following for hypertension the patient is a 67 year old male presenting today for follow up of hypertension is on losartan 50 mg checks bp regularly ranges in 120s over 80s denies low blood pressure low salt diet and exercise this can be expanded as follows the patient is a 67 year old male who presents today for follow up of hypertension hyperlipidemia and diabetes he has hypertension and is on losartan 50 mg He checks his blood pressure regularly at home and the readings are in the 120s over 80s. He denies any low blood pressure readings. He limits salt in his diet and exercises regularly. Also note, the scribe is responsible to organize the notes which should follow provider instructions and the notes should be clear and concise and understandable. Let's take an example. Say a patient has presented for multiple complaints like hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, etc. The patient would start saying he or she has been taking medications for each of the complaints that will be discussed. The patient might say he or she takes metformin for diabetes, losartan for hypertension, and simvastatin for hyperlipidemia. It is very likely that the patient would not follow a set pattern. and may randomly jump from symptom to symptom for example the patient would say he or she does not have episodes of hypoglycemia and then say he or she is checking blood pressure regularly it is the scribe's responsibility to organize this information the scribe might write hypertension in the first para diabetes in the second para hyperlipidemia in the third para and so on and so forth So, the scribe has to initially take down the information that is discussed during the visit in shorthand notes so that the information is not missed. Then, the scribe must expand and fix the notes during downtime. Another important point to note is to always proofread the notes to remove any contradictory information or grammatical errors.